Welcome to episode 10 of Algo Trading Series from Market Secrets. In this episode, we are going to learn how to code and use Starch Crossover System. So let's get into the setup. Stochastic is an oscillator that measures the position of a stock compared to its recent trading range, indicating overbought or oversold conditions. It displays the current price at a percentage relative to its trading range over a specific period of time. In a slow stochastics, the highs and lows are averaged over a slowing period. The default is usually 3 for slow and 1 for fast. The line can then be smoothened using exponential moving average, weighted or simple moving averages. Buy and sell signals will be generated at the intersections of percentage %d and percentage %k. The stochastic oscillator always ranges between 0% and 100%. A reading of 0% shows that the securities close was the lowest price that the security has traded during the preceding X time periods. So if the time period is 15 and the reading is 0, it indicates the stock's close price today is the lowest price in the last 15 days. Likewise, a reading of 100% shows that the securities close was the highest price that the security has traded during the preceding X time periods. When the closing price is near the top of the recent trading range, say above 80%, the security is in an overbought condition and may signal for a possible correction. The oversold condition exists at a point below 20%. In this case, the security is in an oversold condition and may signal for a possible up move. Whenever Stoch makes a crossover, we will initiate the trades accordingly. Let's begin with the script setup now. First, we are setting the time period for Stoch, which is 15 candles or 15 time periods. This will calculate the current price at the percentage relative to its trading range over the last 15 days. So this will give us the value between 0% and 100%. Then in the next few lines, we are smoothening the signal using the moving average of the price we generated and we are plotting it in the chart. We are plotting both the slow and fast signals. So there are two signals being plotted in the chart. One will be the slow signal and the other one will be the fast signal. And the next line is used to fill the areas between these two lines. So if you look at here, right, we have a green shade here and we have a red shade here. This is being done using this particular line of code. Now using the next three lines, we are plotting two horizontal lines here. This will mark the oversold and overbought areas. So if starch crosses over this particular area, it indicates it is in an overbought range. Same is true for oversold range. And when it comes to the trade condition, we will go along when the short term starch goes above the long term starch. And we will square off the long position when the short term starch goes below the long term starch. This is nothing but the crossover. So whenever a crossover happens, whenever the short term starch crosses over the long term, we will go long. And whenever this reverses, we will close the position. And if there is no position, we will take a fresh shot. As simple as that. So if you look at this chart, you will be able to spot all the buy and sell signals using the triangles. You can run a back test on this code. In this case, we are running the back test again on Nifty. I'm setting the time frame as 15 minutes and I'm taking only the long trades. So when I run the back test, it is generating a lot of intraday trades. So it's approximately two to three trades per day. And this is being done for over a period of six months. So this would be your final outcome. So for a capital of 1 lakh rupees, you will have approximately 15,000 rupees as profit in six months time period. So when it comes to the report, this strategy is producing returns of around 30% which is extremely good. As always, you can play around the parameters which was used in this strategy. So do give this a try and let us know in case of any questions or issues. If you have any specific strategy that needs to be scripted and discussed as part of the forthcoming episodes, drop the details in the comment section of the video. We'll definitely consider it. Hit the like button if you've liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.